Yesterday's statement, I'm interested in your views about um, particularly the qualifications decision. Um, there is a, I think there was a frustration uh, amongst us that we thought we were going to get some kind of move forward, but we're getting a new debate in the new year, and I'd be interested in what your view is on that. Uh, perhaps Professor Humes could first. Well, it reinforces the impression that I had before yesterday's announcement that there was uh, an inclination to um, delay big decisions. Um, and I think that will be a, seen with a degree of disappointment by many in the system because they feel it's been going on long enough and it's time to take some decisions. Um, and big decisions are not easy, but uh, in the world of politics, there comes a point when you have to reach policy closure and take the decisions and live with the consequences. Others, I could encourage them just to comment on what the Cabinet Secretary said about the reasons why. I mean, she was talking about issues around behaviour, you know, post-COVID, the real challenge and the poverty related attainment gap. She said, basically, they've got enough on their plate just now. We need to consider whether we should move forward with this when all these other things are going on. Do you think there's any merit in that argument, Dr Brown? I, um, from the, the membership of the committee, we've got several people working in schools and, and in uh, the directors of education offices. And from what we hear, there, there is a significant issue associated with, with um, the change in the nature of the children that are coming through the schools after COVID. So I think, I think there is a, a big issue there. Um, but what, but I, I am disappointed that we, we aren't moving ahead in general. Um, uh, so I think I think the reasons are valid, but if we but there will always be another reason coming around the corner. 